time ago I saw a YouTube vid called Soda Can Hydrogen Gasifier that was uploaded by Knowledge Publications where this guy put wood chips into an aluminum can and applied heat until flames shot out the top of the can. I thought I would try this using an unused pint paint can with a hole punched in the lid. I used this can one so that it wouldn't melt like the soda can did and two because the lid would act like a safety valve in case the pressure got to be too great. Now here you see the paint can with the hole in the lid. Just pry it off or put it back on. It's empty. Showing it to the backup camera. Here I have uh, poplar wood chips from a project that I did. Pouring it in there. It was just a couple of ounces. Shake it up. Stir it in there. You see the wood chips and the backup camera sees the wood chips. Put the lid on. Now here you see a camp stove that I'm going to use for the applied heat. To be economical, I guess this should be um, some sort of a wood fire heating up the can. But just for expediency, I'm using this. Lighting up the camp stove. And shortly you will see smoke coming out of the top of the can. There it starts. That quick, it just starts up with the smoking. More smoke. And I'm going to try to light it. Now, the, one of the problems that comes in is it was a little windy outside here. There you see a nice flame. But I can't keep it lit. I think because of the wind and two maybe because the can itself was still too cold and it was like sucking the heat off. But you see I'm still getting a pretty good flame once it lights. Shoots right up there. And when it burns, it burns clean. There's no smoke left. There's smoke there because it's only partially burning. And it blew out again. See how much stuff is coming out of this? now? The the wood is being heated, but it's not being burned in the can. It's being converted into charcoal, and all the gases are being expelled out through the hole. The flammable gases. Wish it hadn't been so windy, and maybe this would have lit right up. Nice long flame there. Blew out again. You see the difference from the fumes when it's lit and the fumes when it's not. It gets quite smoky when it's not lit. So that means it's burning pretty much everything up from the flame on the top. Almost caught it there. And there we go. Oops. Not quite. Uh, almost went. Just needs a little more heat on the top. That flame that's shooting out is not from the lighter. That's from the can itself. Only the little flame. Ah, there we go. Now it caught. And you can see it's burning on its own now. The heater is still on, making the gases come out. But that flame is just all gases from the couple of ounces of wood I put in the can. And a nice flame. Nice, clean. There you see the wind. I'm trying to block it with the door. The wind's trying to blow it out, but look how long that flame is. While this is burning, showing you that, if you want to see the original vid that I saw from Knowledge Publications, uh, look up tags under SODA, S-O-D-A, Wood, W-O-O-D. Um, let's see, what else? Chips, C-H-I-P-S. And maybe gasifier. 
G-A-S-I-F-I-E-R and you'll be able to find, should be able to find, the uh, four-part video that this guy did. This is pretty cool. All this gas is just coming off of those couple of ounces of wood from my shop floor. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try some other things like scrap from when trees get chewed up and even paper like from your the mail that you get, the you know, garbage that you get in the mail. See if you can generate gas from that. There are people out there using this this gas that's coming out. They call it wood gas, some people do. And they use it to power cars and trucks and trailers, or tractors rather. During World War II they did a lot of that when there wasn't any fuel to be had. Now you here you see the flame is starting to die down. It must be just about all expelled out of there. It's going, going. The heat's still being applied, but I guess pretty much all of the gas has been f cracked out or forced out of the wood. All that'll be left now is just some charcoal, which can be burned too, just like the charcoal on your charcoal grill. It's going, going, just about done. just letting this go until it gives up on its own here. I guess really by now I should have just turned the stove off, stopped wasting the heat going into it. Well, here I am, I'm turning it off now. I'm going to lift it off and pry open the lid and show you what's inside. Should be just charcoal left. Might be a little dark, but there you see, just charcoal. Move the camera down so you can see it. That wood that was in the plastic bottle has just been converted into lumps of charcoal, which right now look like they're, they were taken out before they cooled off, so the wind is trying to fan them into a flame. Well, I thank you for watching this vid. Look for more of them coming out. This is kind of interesting. I want to see what else I can do with it. I thank you for your time. And remember, look up those other videos from uh, Knowledge Publications and give them a look-see. Thanks a lot.